Welcome to Santi Peace for Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss a Pasquale's theorem. And when while proving this Pasquale's theorem, we also going to prove the Bessel's inequality. So in one go, we will trying to prove the two things. The first one is Bessel's inequality. That is the quantity into that. Another one is the Pasquale's identity. Both the, these things, that is inequality and the identity, is both is depends on the Fourier series of the function. So we will have this is as a theorem I am taking and I am proving this theorem. If f of x is a Riemann integrable function in the interval minus pi to pi, then prove that the series that is summation of a n square plus b n square and running from 1 to infinity converges where this a n and b n are the Fourier coefficients of the function f of x. So what is this theorem says that f x is a Riemann integrable function is given to you or you can say that the f x is, is a piecewise continuous function then this summation is always converted when a, a n and b n both of them are a Fourier coefficient of the Fourier of the function f of x. So to prove this one, we will start with the, the partial sum summation k running from 1 to n a k cos k x plus b k sin k x and I am making this quantity subtraction with f of x and doing the square and if since this is a square it is always greater than or equal to zero for every x in the interval minus pi to pi this is always now let's expand this square so we'll have f of x whole square minus two times summation k running from one to n ak cos kx plus bk sin kx into f of x plus the square of that quantity that is k running from 1 to n ak cos kx plus bk sin kx greater than or equal to 0. Now we we'll just take the integration to the side with respect to x in the interval of minus pi to pi. So that's why we got it is minus pi to pi f of x whole square dx. And I'm taking this quantity on the other side. That's why it is greater than or equal to 2 times summation k running from 1 to n. This ak is independent of the integration, so that is out from the integration. And the integration is from minus pi to pi. Fx is multiplied inside, so it is fx into cos kx plus bk is independent. And we have minus pi to pi fx into sine kx dx plus, but this sine will become minus over there, so this is minus summation k running from 1 to n. And here I forgot to do the square of whole quantity. There will be a square of this quantity because a square minus 2ab plus b square. That's why square there, pk cos kx plus bk sin kx whole square. Now, what will be this quantity? That is, this quantity. This integration minus pi to pi f of x cos kx dx, which is nothing but the so pi into a k, and this one will be pi into b k. So finally, what we get integration minus pi to pi f of x square dx, which is greater than or equal to summation k running from 1 to n. 2 pi is constant quantity that is out a k square plus b k square that you can see from this one this is a k into a k pi a k the pi is common out and here is also 
we have ak square plus bk square by standard now what is this quantity let us observe this side so i will expand this quantity by taking n equal to 2 and then we generalize what should be happen for in general case so let us observe what is that n equal to running k running from 1 to 2 A one cos x plus b one sin x is there. Square of this, we have a one cos x plus b one sin x plus a two cos x cos two x plus b two sin two x. The square of this one. Now, if we try to do the square of this one, what are the terms we will have? The terms we will have is a one square into cos square x plus b one square into sin square x plus a two square into cos square two x plus b two square into sin square two x plus there are terms which have cos and sin. That is a one b one cos x sin x. And a one a two cos x cos two x. Then a one b two sin two x cos x. And there are other terms when you multiply this sin x to this one, sin x to this one, and so on. There are other terms there. And I want to discuss what is the integration of this quantity. That means the integration of this quantity. That means integration of this quantity. With respect to B, it's that is to talk. Now we have seen one of the result is integration minus pi to pi sine n x into cos m x is always zero. Integration minus pi to pi sine n x. Into sine m x d x is zero if n is not equal to m, and it is pi if n equal to m. So here, when n is equal to m, we have actually cos square x or sine square x. Here we have sine square x. So that value is pi, and the same result is we have for cos also. So for that also we have that result. Otherwise, so all the integration of all this quantity will become zero. So only the left quantities are this. So plus that quantity we have. Let us write down in the next page. That is integration minus pi to pi of x square dx, which is greater than or equal to. This two pi into summation a k square plus b k square as it is k running from one to two n plus the other term is this that is this quantity as we have discussed earlier for for two n equal to two the same idea will work for n equal to three so the quantity left is k running from one to n a k square plus b k square But this should multiply to pi, and here we have minus sign. So finally, we'll have pi into summation k running from one to in n, b k square plus b k square. So finally, we'll have summation k running from one to n, b k square plus b k square is greater than or equal to one by pi minus pi to pi of x. Where now, if I take the limit as n tends to infinity, this quantity will, and this side is independent of n, so that's why this is tend to infinity. So that's why it is summation k running from one to infinity. A k square plus b k square is less than or equal to one by pi minus pi to pi f of x whole square d x. And since your f is Riemann integrable, f square is Riemann integrable, so this quantity is always a finite one. Since this quantity is always finite and it is bounded, this series is bounded by this finite number. So that means this series is also 
conversion series and this inequality here what we have got it is known as the Bessel's inequality where what is this AK and BK AK and BK, BK are the coefficients of the Fourier series or I can say it is a Fourier coefficient so hence we can say that this summation k running from 1 to n bk square plus bk square is convergent. Now what is the Pascal's identity? The Pascal's I can say theorem will be this summation n running from 1 to infinity a n square plus b n square and the a 0 square by 2 is also added there equal to 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x square dx. This is known as the Pascal's identity, which involves the all the Fourier coefficient a0, an, and bn. In the Bessel's inequality, you will have ak square plus bk square, which is less than or equal to 1 upon pi. And in the Pascal's identity, you have equal by adding the this term. Now let's solve one example based on this Pascal's identity. So the question is to obtain the Fourier series of y equal to x square in the interval minus pi to pi and from that you should deduct that 1 upon 1 by 4, 1 upon 2 power 4, 1 upon 3 power 4 up to so on is equal to pi series to 4 by 19. This is the objective used to deal with. Now, the function x square in the interval minus pi to pi, we have already calculated the Fourier series for this x square. Those who have not come across for the Fourier series of x square, they can go to the i button here and they can find the link for this uh, Fourier series of x square there. And from that, we need to deduct what is this expression. So if you can use that one, we have a0 will be 2 pi square by t. An we have obtained it is 4 minus 1 raised to n upon n square. And bn we have 0. And this is true for any n running from 1 to infinity. Now using password identity or theorem, what we can say is 1 upon pi integration minus pi to pi f of x square dx is equal to summation k running from 1 to infinity a k square plus b k square plus a0 by b what we get we have to substitute that value here this value there so that's why it is 4 pi raised to 4 upon so this is 4 by 9 by 2 so into 1 by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity a k square that is the square of this one so it is 16 by n power 4 and b n is already 0 so that is no term of b n there and on the other side we have integration of the quantity so that is equal to integration minus pi to pi x square power, so we get power 4 dA, and this is even function, so it is 2 times 0 to pi x raised to 4 dA, so this is 2 into x raised to 5 upon 5, the limit is 0 to 5, so finally it is 2, and this 1 upon pi is already there, so that's why it is 2 by 5, 2 by 5, and 1 pi is that cancel out, 5 is 4 by 5. This side is 2 to 5 to the power. This is nothing but the 5 is 4 by 9, 2 pi is 4 by 9. And to can take that quantity on the other side, that is this side, so that is a minus and plus 2 pi is 4 by 5 equal to summation n from 1 to infinity 16 by n power 4. And this 2 pi is 4 is out that is 1 by 5 minus 1 by 9 we can have the summation k running from 1 to infinity 16 and power 4 
hence we have it is 9 minus 5 that is 4 by 45 into this 2 5 is to 4 is there equal to on the other side we have 16 is there so the end is turning from 1 to 3 and power 9 we just note that this 4 and this 2 is all cancel out and the left quantity is 2 here that I can take with the denominator that's why we have n and from 1 to infinity 1 by n power 4 is 5 by 90. That was our required expression to show. I'm giving you one exercise to deal with yourself. If your f of x is 1 in the interval 0 to 5. Then find the Fourier series of 1 and using that calculate this pi square by 8 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square of this one. So basically in this theorem we have discussed the conversions of the series and an square plus bn square this series is conversion if this an and bn are the Fourier coefficient of the function and that will involve the two very basic identities and one of them is inequality but identity is known as the Wessels inequality the Wessels inequality is this summation is greater than equal to 1 by pi integration minus pi to pi f of x square the password is identity is this integration is you may write down in terms of Fourier coefficient that is a0 square by 2 plus summation n and 1 and from 1 to infinity ak square plus bk so that is known as the password identity we have solved on examples which gives you application of this password identity that's it for this video. If you have liked this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, solution, or question, please drop down in the comment box. We will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.